My brothers and sisters, what a joy it is to be here with you this evening, with all my brother priests, my brother deacons, as we celebrate this the f- Mass of the Lord's Last Supper. And, and truly, it is a, a blessed feast. Why? Because first and foremost, it is a celebration of the Lord instituting the Most Holy Eucharist. The Eucharist that us as the people of God gather and celebrate every single day. The Eucharist that we celebrate when we baptize someone. The Eucharist that we celebrate when someone dies. The Eucharist that we call communion, that binds us together and nourishes us as the mystical body of Christ. The Eucharist before which we go and adore the Lord. We seek his healing We seek his voice in our lives, his direction to show us his will. The Eucharist, which is the source and summit of all that we have in our faith, all that we live out in our faith. And on this celebration of the Eucharist, that is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ given for us, we know, we look ahead to that moment of tomorrow and the day after. Tomorrow, the cross, the day after resurrection. Now, it's also a celebration of the beginning of the priesthood. So for us priests who are here, it is a a beautiful celebration. All day long, we're probably sending texts back and forth to our brother priest saying, happy anniversary, happy institution of the priesthood. And it's a joyful moment for us because truly our own priesthood is centered around this altar, this place where every day we come up and we celebrate the Eucharist. We pray for all of the people of God. And it's a reminder to us, too, to stand in that person of Christ, to be there for our brothers and sisters, to bring people, to bring all to heaven, to lay down our lives for all of you. And that is a blessing to do day after day after day. And then we come to also this moment, this moment we hear in our our gospel, that reminder of Jesus, of how we are to treat our brothers and sisters. Now, that symbol of the foot washing that Jesus does, we always connect it with the fact that we wash feet here on this night of various members of our community, various members of the ministries of our parish, representing all of us. But in that ancient world, the fact that the host of this night, the night of the Passover, would set aside his garment and wash the feet of his fellows, his peers, seen as something unique. And that is why Peter's reaction happens. But what is Jesus doing? Reminding us of why, why he came. Why he came into the world to serve. It's uniquely connected with the priesthood uniquely connected with who he is in the Eucharist. Through our own baptisms, we are are washed clean, just like the washing of the feet tonight, washing the dust of this world from our feet as we go on that journey of faith towards heaven. And so, too, we're made strong, made strong as we we wash off those things which are not holy. We've just gone through a whole season of preparation for Easter. We wash ourselves from all those things that keep us from truly loving the Lord. Jesus' priesthood is an interesting thing. We'll hear in the Eucharistic prayer tonight a reminder of all the ages, of all those people who who looked ahead to him, 
the new covenant that he makes and his blood shed for us. It starts with Abel, who lifted up his gifts to the Lord. It goes through Abraham, who offered a sacrifice of those things which he had received. And it goes through Melchizedek, the high priest as well, who offered up these things to the Lord. We are called to see in this life of faith, nourished by the Eucharist, the very grace of God working in us and heavenly blessing present among us and lifting us up. Now, we are reminded as well, finally, of the Eucharist. Jesus' body given up for us and his blood poured out for us to form that new covenant in which we all live, an eternal covenant, a covenant that that calls us to, to living all these things. What joy to be able to celebrate here tonight, these mysteries and the blessings which the Lord pours out on us in the Eucharist. I want to end now with a quotation from The Life of Christ by Bishop Fulton Sheen. This scene was a summary of his incarnation. Rising up from the heavenly banquet, an an intimate union of nature with the Father, he, Jesus, laid aside the garments of his glory, wrapped about his divinity the towel of human nature, which he took from Mary poured the laver of regeneration, which is his blood shed on the cross to redeem mankind, and began washing the souls of his disciples and followers through the merits of his death, resurrection, and dissension. My brothers and sisters, we rejoice that the Lord has given himself to us in the Eucharist. We rejoice that he is our Savior He is our redemption. And we look ahead to the mysteries of what is to come in these coming days as we celebrate his great act of love for us and the joy of his resurrection.